Hello Tree ID people, looking at choke cherry again. We looked at this earlier in the spring when it was flowering. Well here it is fruiting and the fruit is just about ripe. Me and the kids have already been eating it. Pretty much uh, we have this plant growing all over the place. It's in our woods and, uh, and out in the open too. It doesn't care if it's sunny or shady, it'll make fruit in both places. And it usually makes a lot of fruit. This is just a wild tree. They don't do anything to help it. And the cherries, they taste really astringent. They make your mouth dry. But, uh, but they're still kind of good. Um, there's the black knot. I tried to show that in the last video, but I don't think it came out too good. Here's a nice, nice example of that black knot fungus. It's hard to find a patch of choke cherry that doesn't have black knot in it. Uh, and then, you know, that stem will die. But there's always plenty more to go around. But that's choke cherry when it's when it's fruiting, and the fruit is definitely edible. People have made all kinds of food with them. We've tried to strain out the pits and make jellies and stuff like that, and you can do that, but it takes a while. And then the uh, what the native people used to do in my area was they would crush them up, the whole fruit, including the seeds, and dry it and eat it that way. I've never done that, but it sounds like it would be kind of crunchy with all those shells. But that's uh, just another look at Prunus virginiana, a wonderful carefree wildlife plant. Oh, that white spike, those are uh, black cohosh. That's just growing here on the north side of the house. That's an awesome medicine plant. 